Looking for a four bedroom home in Burnsville featuring vaulted ceilings, huge deck off back, fenced in yard, and so much more? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 2100 Eagle Bluff Drive over here in Burnsville. This is of the four bedroom house behind me. We're gonna go ahead and check it out. Be sure if you enjoy the video, hit that like button and check out the description below where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to that itself. If you enjoyed the video tour, but the house wasn't quite what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel where I post hundreds of other rentals throughout the year. Now without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So, here is the home. This cute curb appeal, you got a big Two car garage right here. And we have an expanded, I'm actually gonna kind of back up and show this too. You have an expanded driveway here that comes over for like an additional kind of car path here. So huge driveway. And then we do have a little storage shed over here. It's a corner lot. So just peek inside. Nice place to store your outside yard items. You can see we got other single family properties in the neighborhood. We're actually really close to 13 too, so a very convenient location for getting around and such. Nice mulching and landscaping out front, fully fenced in backyard. We'll show that here in a little bit. But let's go on in and check out the home itself. All right, so upon entering, we're gonna go up just a half flight of stairs here. We got a delayed split. And that gets us to the upper level. Really nice vaulted ceilings. Very open concept. Really kind of neat to walk around and show all this. So you got your living room, which ties into the large kitchen over there. There's two bedrooms upstairs and two bedrooms downstairs. We got a fully finished basement. Huge deck off back here too. So along the long side of the house here, we've got all these really cool built-ins. So for, you know, you can display your nice Tupperware if you want or decor items. Cool accent wall right here with a little bench. There's an outlet down there too with some USB ports. Got your bookshelf right here. And for those that like to interior decorate, you can get some cool stuff up here too. Kind of a natural spot for a TV, but you're not limited to that by any means. And then a large family room here uh, with carpet. Now, let's do a deeper dive of the kitchen. And what's really nice is you'll notice there is tons of prep space. Uh, you can go ahead and put some bar stools off and along here if you'd like, but you've got one, two, three main counters. So lots of space as far as that goes. Uh, we have our stainless steel appliance and fr our LG fridge right here. Plenty of cabinetry, up and down. Little wine rack above, built-in GE microwave. We got our gas range right here. Flipping around, sink, window that looks out to the deck. Dishwasher, more lower cabinets, upper cabinets. And then again, you've got your two uh, islands here. So you do have cabinetry and drawers over here. So, nice as far as that is concerned. And then, with this space right here, it's natural to go ahead and put your dining table right here. You got your chandelier right up in the kitchen, so really easy fit for that. Let's go check out the deck here, because the deck is really cool. As you can see, we have a nice large deck. It does have a bench seating area up here too. A gate if you want to block off the steps down. Does go down to the backyard here too, so we'll show that. So it's got this top level, and then it has a secondary level here too. That wraps around and goes over to the side. And you can see we've got a gate on this side for the fully fenced in backyard. The downstairs is actually a walkout, so we'll show that there too, but there's your other gate to get out to the side, and a nice fire pit. So yeah. Here's the deck off back. Little spot for flowers there too. Have that growing right above the kitchen sink. Be nice. 
Okay, so we've looked at the living room and kitchen area. Nice big vaulted ceiling here. Kind of an overview of the entryway. So you can see you can go ahead and put your shoes and there's a coat rack right there. That leads into the garage. Uh, kind of cool too with this slatted glass is just keeping it a little more open and exposed look. But up here, we wanna show the rest of this. So we have two bedrooms and a bathroom. We'll start by looking at this bedroom here. And all these rooms I have dimensions for available online if you're interested. She so got two good sized rooms up here, both with ceiling fans too. And then we got a nice little walk-in closet. Okay, and then this is the larger room between the two. Overhead ceiling fan. You can see we got another walk-in closet over there. We'll take a look at that momentarily. All right, so over here we have our bathroom upstairs. Really nice flooring here, vanity with granite countertops, mirror vanity, or light fixture, excuse me. And a nice skylight up above too. We have our toilet. And look at this really cool stand-up shower. Nice tile work, a little glass partition over here. Really nice upper bathroom. Last thing worth showing up here is you do have a little linen closet right here too. It's nice to have that in close proximity to the upper bathroom. All right, we will head down here. And let's go ahead and check out the downstairs. So coming down is just another half flight of stairs. Over here we have the lower family room. Nice decorative fireplace. The TV and speaker system up here. The TV can stay too. See down here, we've got our nice vinyl plank flooring. We do have recessed lighting up above, as well as some supplemental lighting over on this side. So plenty of space down here if you wanna get ping pong table, air hockey table, just extra seating, maybe some desks for arts and crafts. And you've got this huge wall of closet space back here too. In case you're wondering, this leads out back. So we'll just step out here and show it. You got your AC unit right over here. A little bit of a windy day. You can see here's the steps that come down from the deck. Some nice uh, brick pavers out here. Again, we've got our fence over here. Mulching off back. Fireplace here, or uh, fire pit and then gate that gets you out to the side. All right, just do a little close over here too. Nice brickwork and mantle. Right here we've got some under stair storage, so this just goes down, allows for a little bit of extra storage space. And down here we have two more bedrooms and a bathroom. So this is the bedroom off the back of the home. And I would say these bedrooms are a little bit smaller than the ones upstairs, but they have really big closet size. Overhead light fixtures too. You can see you've got a big open closet here with towel rack and shelving. A little view of the backyard, you got some Wood saved up for fire there. And here is the next lower bedroom. Again, overhead light fixture. And in similar fashion, another big open closet here. Big shelving and towel rack. Clothes rack, I guess you'd say. You guessed it. Nice little linen closet. Then we have our bathroom down here. Sink, 
mirror, light fixture, toilet, and this one is a tub shower. And then we have the mechanical room. So we got our furnace, AC, water heater, water softener, sink basin, washer and dryer units, which are included. And then just some nice storage over here too. All right, and then the last thing to show is the garage. Go peek out here. You can see we got our nice two stall garage. And then for those that enjoy tools, you've got a nice little storage rack up here to hang yard equipment, a workbench back here. Kind of cool with the red painted cabinets as well. Just a very nice garage space that we've got. All right, well that concludes the tour of this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.